All right, we're back with Chief Scientist Carl here from the Imagination Station. And uh, I'm going to admit I'm a little nervous because okay. I'm slightly flamm flammable with my hairspray. So. That's okay. We're going to keep you back from it. But okay, what are we doing? We're talking about combustion. I brought with me three different kinds of alcohols. All right. Yeah, isopropyl and ethyl and then some methyl alcohol. And I, we're just going to experiment with them and see how they combust a little bit differently. Okay. okay. Now, go ahead and take this jug, and I'm going to take mine. And what I want you to do is pick it up, and we're going to coat the inside, leave the cap on. Just All right. Turn it around. I can handle this. And what we're doing is we're taking the liquid alcohol inside and causing it to change into a vapor. We want to coat the entire inside of the jug, because we don't want to light the liquid on fire. Oh, if yeah. If we were to do that, the flames would probably travel down inside the jug. Keep shaking, keep shaking. We want okay. to really get a lot, we want to change it into a vapor. We want to ignite the vapor. If we light the liquid, the jug might catch on fire and melt on our table, and we don't want to do mm, that. No, we don't want that. We don't want to do that. Because that means I might catch on fire. Okay, so that's probably pretty good. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to pop the top off here, because like I said, we don't want the liquid. So I'm going to drain that off, and all we're going to have inside is vapor. Go ahead okay. and steady that for me. I'm going to drain this off as well. All right. And this is our death list. If you want, you can... I can move it now? Give it a little, give it a little more shade. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, perfect. There you go. I'm going to drain it now. And the next step we're going to do, I'm going to let this sit for a second over here. We're going to light up this candle on a stick. And don't back away, because you're going to be the one that's going to light it up. I don't know why. I'm so freaked out by these do, flames. <laughs> what I want you to do is bring the candle to the top of the jug. Okay? Here we go. Holy moly. Okay. That's nice. So that was isopropyl alcohol. It has about 30% water in it. Oh. Okay, so it's not. So that's a mild flame, it's if you will. A, it's kind of a mild flame. It went kind of relatively slowly. Let's compare that to the 95% ethyl alcohol that we have in this jug. Okay, so hang on just a second. And now I'm going to stand back a little bit and I'm going to take this away. I feel like too. I need more than safety glasses. <laughs> Go ahead I'm just, just going to put it out the there. Lift it. Holy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a the difference there. When you have the more concentrated alcohol, you get a little bit more of a flash. Now, the last one I've saved here, this is actually methyl alcohol. It is very, very volatile. It changes into a vapor like 100 times more likely than right. these other alcohols. Okay, so we're going to shake this one up, get this one really coated. This will be our big sort of finale here. Finale. Now, one thing I forgot, though, here is, remember how we emptied out all the liquid from yes. inside these containers? I'm so in If I take this one here, you can see we might get a few drops, not too much in this one. Okay. We might get a few drops of, oh, this is great. Look at that. Okay. The jug was empty when we started. Oh. But what's coming out now? It's water. The combustion reaction creates carbon dioxide gas and water. Hmm. So we had a little water coming out there. I must have missed that day in science class. <laughs> I All forgot right. that lesson. The, so here's the biggie here. This is the methyl alcohol, very, very flammable. Should probably take this point to mention, don't try this at home, okay? Should I put my hair back for this one? I feel... Well, if you just stand back a little bit and if they dim the lights... I don't know why could, this seems just, like I should do this no, or it's fine. a good idea. Uh, oh, oh, he's got a fire blanket over here as well. Excellent. All right. The fire extinguisher here as well. Go ahead and bring it down. It's okay. Bring it down. And lift up, lift up. You got to get to those. <laughs> got to get to the vapors that are inside. I didn't get all the way. You did. See, it it's blew still off going. my still candles. Going. Still going. It's sucking air in and out. It's kind of whooshing. And in fact, if we seal it up, I don't know if you saw the segment we did before where we crushed a barrel outside. Yes can do the same sort of thing with this plastic jug. As that hot vapor inside starts to cool down, the pressure decreases, we can actually get the jug to sort of collapse on top of itself. Wow, that's right. impressive. So, you know, this is a lot of fun. It's time to go to the Imagination Station and see what else we can do. Definitely come down and check us out. We're in Toledo, Ohio. We uh -huh. are open today for the holiday, right. but normally we're open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 to 5. Noon to five on Sundays, and we have the Titanic exhibition. With oh, fantastic. Artifacts. Lots of cool stuff. We do things like this every day. Oh, my gosh. Lots of thanks. Cool stuff to see. Thanks, Carl. Can I take this stick home? It's a parting gift. Sure. <laughs>